today we are going to learn about smart pointers and in specific about shared pointers okay so we will be studying about shared pointers and we will see what is its difference from auto pointer and why we prefer shared pointers okay so shared pointers is something like we have automatic release of the memory when the pointer goes out of the scope and you don't have to free it so this this is a kind of what is called as smart pointers okay so there is a class of pointers which is called smart pointers and the thing that is smart about these pointers are that you don't need to delete or free these pointers they will automatically get freed so no need to delete or free these smart pointers okay so these smart pointers so you don't need to delete them and they will free the resources for you and the most important thing is no memory leak okay no memory leak happens with smart pointer and shared pointer is a kind of smart pointer that is still smarter than the auto pointer so let's see what it is and as the name suggests so it's shared pointer so it is pointing many pointers are pointing to the same memory okay so let's see why shared pointer came into existence we last time we saw that okay we had something like a smart pointer known as auto pointer but it is based on the concept of exclusive ownership of <coughs> memory okay so it owns the resource exclusively and it cannot allow any new resource to point to it or if some new resource points to it the source itself gives the ownership okay the two pointers of same type cannot point to the same resource so if you have some resource to which your pointer is pointing to so this is the resource this is pointer one now again if i want pointer two also to point to with the resource r then p1 will lose the ownership of r and now p2 will own that resource similarly if i have p3 now point to r by either copy constructor or assignment operator with p2 then p2 will also lose the ownership of resource r so basically only one person will be there for the resource that's the main concept exclusive ownership okay and copying or assigning changes the ownership source has to give the ownership of the object if some it is copied to new destination okay <laughs> so we will see it with one specific example so i write a class called test and it has just one simple member function print and it says that see out test print so this is just a simple class now i want to demonstrate the single ownership property of the auto pointer so what i do i do write standard auto pointer of type test aptr i name it and i give a pointer to it new test this is resource allocation i do at initialization itself okay so new test gives us a pointer to the class test and it is saved in the object of auto pointer okay so this is basically a pointer for us a smart pointer that handles all the memory okay and you don't need to specifically delete it when it goes out of scope it gets deleted automatically the pointer okay and re releases all the resource and what we say aptr1 arrow print so it calls the print function so what will happen let's see the output so it will print 
test and then print this is what will be done here now let's say that okay so the pointer is pointing so to some memory location okay and that's given by let's say 0 x 1 4 3 2 f 7 okay something like this some memory location that pointer is pointing to okay some memory location which is this one so if i do see out aptr one dot get it will print this one 0 x 1 4 3 2 f 7 okay now let's see we make another pointer standard auto pointer test aptr2 and which is basically here we are doing a copy constructor okay using copy constructor so so i'm copying aptr1 to aptr2 so now what happens is i do aptr2 dot arrow print it will again print test and print okay that is fine but now if you do aptr1 dot get if you print this thing you will get 0, 0, 0, 0. so this is a null pointer you will get here okay aptr2 dot get if you do so you will get 0 x 1 4 3 2 f 7 so this number is not important but the thing that is important is wherever it was pointing to so now aptr2 takes the ownership of that memory and aptr1 relinquishes that memory okay so here the thing is only one pointer auto pointer will have the ownership of the resource okay pitfalls copying and assigning modifies the ownership source leaves the ownership and destination gets the ownership so this is not that intuitive in terms of c plus plus okay it is very much less like c plus plus here the auto pointer okay auto pointer is much like not much like c plus plus but it's more like human beings okay so you have x girlfriend okay and here it has x resource it cannot share the resource okay no way so that's the problem with auto pointer but when you are coding so they should understand that you have to share the resource okay so we have shared pointer okay so based on the reference count and here what happens multiple pointers they can all point to the same memory location okay so that is the benefit here so multiple people multiple shared pointers can point to the same memory location and here it is based on the reference count model okay so what it means we know that okay smart pointer has the property that when you have when one pointer goes out of scope so the memory is deleted automatically so what happens now if three or four pointers are pointing to the same memory which is taken acquired okay so now let's say there is some memory okay so let's say some memory is there and first pointer came and it acquired it by way of let's say like auto pointer new test so some memory location it acquired and now this is let's say shared pointer one so now i have let's say 1k of memory i made another sp2 it also points to it so now this memory location resource is being shared by two pointers okay now third one also can come and any number of them can come and they can point to the same resource but then what can happen is this can go out of scope this can go out of scope but still this resource remains because sp to one pointer at least is pointing to the resource 
and this resource is deleted smartly very smartly only when the resource sharing count goes below one that is zero so when no one is using the resource this goes to zero so counter incremented each time a new pointer points to the same resource decremented when destructor of object is called okay so when it is goes going out of scope the counter decreases and when it becomes zero the resource is released so that is the beauty about shared pointer okay and it behaves like c plus plus because i can have a is equal to b and then copy const copying is possible assignment operator is possible which are the two major basics of c plus plus copying and assignment operator okay so let's see the shared pointer so we use standard tr1 so that is the boost library in which this is their shared pointer test i make okay and sp1 the shared pointer one new test so in this memory the so this object is now pointing to a test pointer to test object and we say now c out sp1 dot get so i will get the memory location let's say 0x fc3412 okay so this is printed and then sp1 arrow print so it will print test again test print the last class that we saw and then what happens is standard tr1 shared ptr test sp2 and i do pass sp1 to it so sp2 is now again pointing to sp1 and they are sharing the resource now and sp2 arrow print so it prints again test print and see out now sp1 dot get so 0x fc3412 and then see out sp2 dot get 0x then this also points to the same memory location okay so this is the good thing so you they are now sharing the resource sp1 dot use count this function tells how many pointers are pointing to the resource being used by sp1 so this is now sp1 and sp2 both are pointing to it so it will print 2 here for this one also it will print a 2 sp1 dot reset what it does is that now sp1 relinquishes its its ownership on the object and it now becomes the pointer in it becomes null okay so c out sp1 dot get it will say 0x 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay so it's basically null so now it is reset and if you do sp2 dot use count so now it becomes 1 and c2 dot get still remains 0x fc 3 4 1 2 okay so that is the thing now again if i if this one also goes out of the scope here then again the resource will be released okay so this is basically shared pointers i hope you like this video you understand what is shared pointer and why is it useful so it's useful because it allows the copying and assigning but one thing is problematic here that is cyclic dependency okay so that is one thing that i forgot cyclic dependency what does it mean so let's say two pointers they have some dependencies that class of the first one points to the has a pointer of the second one and let's say a has a pointer to b b has a pointer to a something like that some cyclic dependencies then what will happen is that now they will always have a is pointing to b b is pointing to a something like this so their use count will never reach zero and hence what will happen is they will never get deleted okay so this is one of the problems with shared pointers for which we use weak pointers so that we will see in the next class but for now if you know that there is no cyclic dependencies then shared pointer is one of the best resource to use as smart pointers okay so thanks a lot and i hope you like this video